Holy Down by Jonas Knoll is a brand new blender add-on that makes HDR lighting incredibly fast and painless. In other words, it basically sets up a complete HDRI dome environment for your scenes on the fly. Or I can put it like this. This tool handles all the tricky parts for you. It is pretty much like drag, drop and you're done. Which captures how effortless it makes the whole process. But is it as simple as that? Let's jump in and see the details. Using Polydome is about as simple as it gets. Once the add-on is installed, you just press N to open Blender sidebar, enable the add-on, and then drag and drop any HDR image into your 3D viewport to load it as your lighting dome. The add-on is optimized for the popular Polyhaven HDR library, so it integrates seamlessly into Blender's asset browser. You can literally browse thumbnails of HDR eyes and drop one into the scene with just one click. The add-on even supports adjustable HDRI solution, which is handy for keeping things snappy while you work. In practice, this means you can preview lighting with a lower res HDRI for speed, then switch to full quality for the final renders. The add-on is designed for real-time feedback, as you can expect. It works great with EV for quick previews, and then translates those lighting results almost identically into cycles when you are ready for the high-quality output. In fact, Jonas recommends setting up the lighting in Eevee, then switching to Cycles for the final render, which is the best of both worlds, I think, especially using Polydome, which makes it convenient. One of the add-on's standout tricks is its automatic floor matching, so when you drop in an HDRI, the add-on generates a ground plane that perfectly matches the HDRI environment, so your objects won't look they are floating anymore. The floor auto-aligns with the horizon, in addition to the colors of the HDRI, creating a seamless transition with no ugly color shifts or lighting mismatches at the contact point, which is what you will notice if you do it otherwise. For example, if your HDRI is a landscape or maybe an indoor scene, the animal tint and light the floor plane to blend in naturally, with no manual tweaking needed. The floor shader is quite advanced too, by the way. It supports reflections, adjustable roughness, bump mapping for texture, in addition to other things. In other words, the ground can pick up reflections of your objects or the HDRI and even have a slight bump for realism. This makes your 3D models feel grounded in the scene, as if they were truly present in that HDRI environment. Many Blender artists know the pain of trying finical shadow catcher planes or other hacks to get a realistic floor, but the add-on does it for you automatically. Beyond the basic light and floor setup, Polydome includes fun extra features to push realism even further. The interesting one is the procedural water puddles tool. So on the fly, you can sprinkle realistic water patches on the ground for that post-rain look. You have full control over the puddles, size, depth and roughness to get just the effect that you want. It is a quick way to add storytelling or mood to an outdoor scene. Imagine a reflective street after rain, without having to model or paint anything by hand. Another handy feature is Invisible Dome Mode, which lets you hide the HDRI background from the camera while keeping it sliding. This is awesome if you want to use a solid background color or a separate backdrop image, but still benefit from the HDRI lighting on your subject. In Invisible Mode, Polydome even allows you to set a custom background color, say pure white or a sky color, and add a subtle vignette so you can craft a clean final render right inside Blender. And for those who like to fine-tune the mood, the add-on also offers built-in color adjustments for HDRI's lighting. For example, you can tweak the exposure, gamma, saturation, or the warmth of the environment lighting, or even desaturate the HDRI completely for a neutral studio look. These controls are great for dialing in the atmosphere without leaving Blender or editing an HDRI externally. Basically, the add-on gives you a mini lighting lab to help you fine-tune the lighting of your environments with the right tools. So if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.